everybody. Today's video is all about fall. I am showing you how to make a beautiful textured fall sign and the best part is it is made with mostly Dollar Tree supplies. If this sounds like your kind of project, stick around, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. Hey there, I'm Sarah. This is Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. From simple crafts, to easy recipes, and all kinds of seasonal decor. You can find videos like that right here every week. If that sounds like your kind of thing, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell as well so you don't miss my next video. Now I'm really excited about today's project. I asked you guys over on Instagram to give me some input on what kind of fall sign I should make and you responded with some great input. If uh, you wanna be a part of that kind of thing, go follow me over on Instagram. You can find me at Creative Ramblings over there. Today's video is part of one of my favorite seasonal challenges. This is the DIY Mommy's Fall DIY and Decor Challenge. There is a playlist down in the description that is full of videos made by creators like me, some a lot more talented than me, that just made some beautiful fall projects for you to see. So it's hosted by the DIY Mommy. You can check out her channel right here. She's amazing. If you don't already follow her, you're gonna wanna go check out what she has to offer. All right, so I wanted to create a fall sign for my mantle. So on my Instagram stories, I showed you three signs that I've made before and asked which one you liked. And overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly the response was this one right here. This is one of my favorite Christmas signs. It is a gray stained palette sign with these red wood letters that have glitter on them and then this beautiful textured wreath. I love that it's not just a flat painted sign but it has all these different elements to it. So I decided to make a fall version of this sign. And this is what I came up with. I am in love with this sign. Now some of these items are from Hobby Lobby, but a lot of them are from Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to make a sign like this. Something that really has this depth, this kind of 3D depth and texture to it. We've got a lot of glitter going on here. This is made with my new favorite glitter paint. And then we've even got some foliage in it too. So I am gonna show you exactly how to make a sign like this and how you can customize one to really make it fit your decor for the season. So let's jump in. All right, for this project, you are going to need a slatted wood sign. I'm gonna spell the word home on here. So I picked up some paper mache letters, H, M, and E. Then I've got a little pumpkin shape uh, that's gonna work as my O. I also have some fall floral picks from Dollar Tree. And then a glue gun, a wire cutter, and a variety of paint and paint brushes. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this specific type of paint and how you can get an awesome glitter coverage with it. I'm gonna start by painting the wood sign with a white chalk paint. This is gonna give it a good base, covers it completely, and it dries pretty quickly so we can move on to the next step. Now when painting the sign, you also wanna make sure that you paint the sides of this. This is a pretty thick sign with a hollow back. So I'm gonna paint all around the sides and then put this sign aside to dry. Now we're gonna move on to the letters. I want to add some glitter to these letters. So I am using Deco Arts Galaxy Glitter Paint. This stuff is awesome. Now when you use this, you wanna start with a base coat in a very similar color. So I've got kind of a tan colored base coat and then a warm copper goldish kind of glitter here. So just start with that base coat and paint all the letters, front, sides, and then let them dry completely. And then we will move on to the glitter. We're 
We're going to do the same process with the pumpkin. I'm going to use a yellow base coat and a gold galaxy glitter. So I'm going to paint the pumpkin in yellow and I'm going to get the front but I'm also going to get the back and sides. This pumpkin has that little cavity in the middle that we're going to put the picks in. So I want to make sure that there's none of the wood showing and that it's all yellow. Now that everything is dry, it's time to add the glitter. So shake this really well and put it in a little paint pot and just look at this glitter in here. It's got big chunks in it and it's suspended in a medium that really allows the glitter to stand out on whatever you're painting. So when you're painting with this glitter, uh, you just apply it like you would regular paint. Uh, what I found works best is to put a light coat on and then you can go back and kind of even it out with your paintbrush, maybe let it dry for a few minutes and then add another coat so you can build that glitter up. So you're gonna do this for all the letters and then get the sides as well. It's got a beautiful shine to it. Now we're going to use the same technique for the pumpkin. I'm going to use that gold glitter and just paint a light coat over the yellow, let it dry a little bit, and then come back and layer on until I have the amount of glitter that I'm happy with. All right, once everything is dry, it is time to assemble our sign. So I wanna spell out the word home. You can use this technique to make just about any kind of sign, spell out whatever you like. So I'm gonna bring back in that palette sign that's all dry, and I'm gonna use some hot glue to attach the letters and the pumpkin to the sign. Now once everything's attached, we are going to add some of those autumn flower picks. I'm going to start with just a little piece of floral foam, add a little hot glue and stick it into the cavity of that pumpkin to help the leaves and the branches really stay in there. Then I'm going to just snip off a few pieces of these leaves. These are all from Dollar Tree this year. I think they're just beautiful. So I'm going to grab a few pieces and just stick them into the foam until I've got a nice full pumpkin there that's just ready for fall. So that is how you make a fall sign. And not just any painted fall sign, but something with depth and texture and glitter and color that is really gonna stand out in your home. Use the paint colors that work for you. Use the letters and the foliage and the shapes that work for you to match your home. All right, so I wanna hear from you. If you like this sign, give me a thumbs up down there and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this sign. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoy simple, inspiring projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my next video. Now the playlist for the DIY Mommies Fall DIY and Decor Challenge is down in the description. Be sure to watch that for lots more inspiring fall projects. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Bye-bye.